Hello everybody, welcome to this video, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about shutter speed. Very, very important, especially if you're working on a special project with LPR, the license plate recognition, you got to control the shutter speed and you're gonna learn that here in this video. And this content you can find in the Ultimate Security Camera Guide, the link here in the description. So just click and get yours. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up, your comment, and hit the bell notification, okay? So let's talk about shutter speed. As you can see here, I have a diagram that represents a camera. So the light comes here through the lens and hit the sensor, but there's the shutter here to control the exposition time to the light. As you can see here, I have light hitting the sensor in cycles uh, of 0 0.033 second. Every 0 0.033 second, the light hits the sensor. Then you could ask where this number is coming from. Okay, if you divide one by 30, you're gonna get this 0 0.033 seconds, meaning you have this cycle because you, sh you set up your shutter speed to work with one over 30 of a second. Okay, so if you go to your camera, you can find the options there let's say one over 30, one over 60, one over 100, 120, and goes on. Here I have a special range here, one over 1,000 uh, to one over 4,000, okay? This is a common configuration for license plate recognition. You got to understand that a little while, okay? So just keep watching. So that's the idea. You're gonna go to your camera and configure that, okay? So that's why you have here this value. It's coming from this division that I'm doing here, the configuration that you do on your shutter speed. So let's move on here to the next picture so I can understand this better. So here, what I have, I have a scenario here with a car that is static. The car is stopped here. And I have a sign here that says Pompano Beach Boulevard. There's also here a license plate and a car that's moving and a license plate here that I can't read. I can hit read the sign, I can read this license plate, but I can't read this one because it's moving and it's blurry. The moment that I took the picture here, the shutter speed was like one over 30 or one over 60 and that the image gets blurred like this. It's the same for videos, right? Because we know videos is like picture after picture moving fast, okay? So you have to set up your camera to take a picture or to record the videos with a higher shutter speed so you can like freeze the image. What I mean by that is freeze the movement so you can get a clear picture without blurry, okay? So that's the way it works. So you go to your camera, instead of using one over 30, you can use one over 600 or more, depending on the scenario, the angle of your camera, the speed of the car and everything else, you're going to test it out. So you set up your camera, you test, you play back the video, you freeze the video, right? You pause the video, take a look, the image is good. Okay, the image is not good. So you keep uh, moving the shutter speed higher until you get the correct shutter speed that works for you. Okay, so that's the idea. Here is another example. So for license plate recognition, let's say you have a car here in the road, the car is moving and 15 meters away from the camera, you can see the image like this one. Okay, you got the picture like this one. And here you can read the license plate. If the shutter speed is too slow, you're gonna see a blurry image here. You can't read the license plate. I mean, the camera can read, right? So if you set up your shutter speed higher, then the image can be better, can be clear, so you can see better what's written here. So that's the idea you have to go to your camera and let's say the, the camera is installed on a highway and the car is moving between 80 to 200 kilometers per hour. Sorry guys, here in the US, you can convert that to miles per hour, but the idea is that most of, most of the people use this 
unit of measurement here in different parts of the, the world, right? So with 80 to 200 kilometers per hour, you move your shutter speed from one over 1000 to one over 4000 and test it out. It is good. So let the way it is not. So keep moving, keep testing again and don't go too high. As long as you get the value that works for you, don't go higher because you're going to get darker image, right? As long as you move higher and higher, you get darker and darker images. So just find the value that works for you and let it there. Okay. So that works with IP camera, with analog camera. Doesn't matter if, if you come here, you can see uh, analog camera. I have here the menu. I press the button. I look at the screen and I can see this menu, right? And so you, you go to the shutter speed with manual mode. You can set up your shutter speed. Let's say, for example, with minimum of one over 60 and maximum of one over 1000. So the camera is basically thinking, hmm, when there's no enough light, it's too dark. I'm going to work slowly and I'm going to use one over 60 at a minimum, right? When it's too bright, there are a lot of light coming to the sensor. I will use the maximum of one over uh, 1000. I'm not going higher than that. And I, I'm not going lower than this one over 60. Okay. So that's the way the camera thinks because you taught the camera how to think like that, right? So be careful with that because sometimes if the car is moving fast, uh, one over 60 is not enough. So you can like go higher. Let's say one over 600. That'll be better because the minimum will be one over 600 and the maximum one over a thousand. That'll be enough to freeze the fast, fast car and the slow car that's passing here. You're going to test it out to see which one works for you. Okay. So that's the idea to configure your camera and doesn't matter if it's an IP camera or it's an analog camera, it's going to work that way. You can find the menu here, the shutter speed somewhere if you are using a professional camera. So guys, that's also the difference, right? If you buy a camera, you can't find a menu. There's no menu on the camera or the menu doesn't show the shutter speed. It's because you're using a cheaper camera that is not professional and doesn't allow you to do that. So be careful with that. Uh, most of like a uh, camera that you install at homes at office doesn't allow you to do that. So if you're using for LPR professional project, you need to have a professional camera. Okay. And here's another example of the shutter speed. When you put in this flicker, flicker mode is to control the flicker. They like start sometimes the camera start blinking. You see the, the blinking because of the frequency of the light. The frequency is not matching. The frequency that the camera is working with the shutter doesn't match the frequency of your light. If your light is like working with 50 hertz or 60 hertz, you need to match and must be mul multiple of 50 or multiple of 60 to match. Let's say you're using shutter speed here with 1 over 60. 1 over 120, 1 over 180, you're like multiple of 60. So you're matching here uh, the flicker, uh, then it's going to work. Okay, so that's the idea. Here's automatic flicker that's going to try to find out that for you. But remember, if you're using internal environment with lights and you're using manually, you, you must match the configuration here with your camera. Okay. So guys, that's very important. You need to understand that. And I know that you're here because you want to understand that. So that's why I ask you to subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the bell notification so you can receive more information about new videos and keep studying. Okay. So leave your comments, your thumbs up, and I see you in the next video.